Hey guys, and welcome to another video with uh, Just Asian. So, uh, as you can see today with uh, this here pencil set, we're going to be drawing. And that's a very good thing because uh, I've been slacking on the drawing on this channel, so like uh, I want to get back to it. So you, you better believe it. I'm getting back into drawing, getting back to the paper, and even I mean, you can see right here, the paper's right here, and uh, with my little. Uh, stick thingy uh so we got our little pencils and we're ready to draw now um well i don't know if you got your pencils uh, but uh hey i'm just if you just like watching videos and just chilling you know that's what we're here for we're here to chill draw practice you know get better and everything but uh <clears throat> let, let me let me ah uh, ah never mind i can't do it I just switched the camera, so uh, you know, don't mind this part, but uh, I hope you guys are having a nice day, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be back with you in a sec. All right. Damn it. So I set my ass down and get ready for draw. Yeah. Well, as I set my ass down and get ready to draw, what I was trying to say, um, I'm here looking at these weird and um, zany fruits right now, and uh, they look pretty interesting. And so, I wanted to actually try drawing them. And so, as you can see, I got my handy uh, B pencil. And so, right now, I'll be warming up and everything, you know, just drawing straight lines. Not straight lines, but just wavy lines, because, you know, it's good to warm up the hand and just get everything ready. But, um... These things, well, just drawing lines or drawing circles are really good for you to warm up because, you know, most people tend to complain that they can't really draw circles too good, so it's good to warm up and, like, use these, use these tactics just to get better at a few things, even if, like, you're not really focusing on them today, but, um, I won't make the warm up too long because, well, Eh, I don't know. But I also feel like making another video today, so that's kind of like my goal this weekend, like make five videos. And I did about three, and so I have about two more to go, which is pretty sick, I'll say that, but I feel like getting to this fruit, I, I clicked on it again, Jesus, but um, here I go. And so the first fruit is like an orange in a sense. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna try, it's like I don't wanna stay on the fruit too, for too long, but also I wanna do it as best as I can. So it's like, you know, as an orange, you know, oranges are just naturally curvy in lines. I hope, okay, you can, you can catch that. Good, 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 that's some good shit. Anyway, um, Oranges are naturally curvy in line, so it's good to just, like, once you're first drawing them, it's good to, you know, just go along and, you know, just draw, just imagine drawing a U, or, like I said, a curvy line. And so, then, since we're not gonna, it's like, I'm kind of, like, speed running this, honestly, so I'm getting kind of sweaty here, but, um... Yes, yeah, so I'm speed running this, and I'm trying to keep the loosest grip as necessary because, well, it helps with like you know developing the line and everything, as well as like you know just keeping you relaxed and calm and on focus when it comes to these type of things, especially just drawing something like this. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but hey, it's something that it's something that we all can get better on, especially when it comes to drawing. Especially for beginners. Um, beginners usually tend to draw hard. And so, you know, it's best for, it's just best to, you know, learn, it's best to just learn how to know when to, you know, go as hard as possible. And it's good to, you know, just try to be as relaxed as possible. You know, get to know both worlds, you know. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I actually saw a cat on my campus, and it looked like a kitten. It looked like a pretty, it was like a decent sized kitten today. Well, yeah, a decent sized kitten on her car, and 
I wanted to, you know, save it, honestly, but it was a, uh, it was scared. It was a, uh, it was a feral cat, so it didn't really trust me as a human. But it was hiding under some cars, and I tried to, you know, get it, but it wasn't the best thing. It wasn't the best like. I was, I was a bit too big to, you know, just stretch under those cars and just grab it, or it was, and also it was a, it was a, it was really afraid of me, but, um, also with that, it kept her, it kept meowing, like, it was a very social cat, surprisingly, but, um, it kept meowing, I remember that, and so I kept looking for it because, like, you know, as long as it meowed at me, or, you know, it was just meowing, just in general, I'll be able to find it and possibly just catch it. But I kept trying, I kept, I looked for the cat, but I just wanted, I was going to the gym, so I couldn't really spend all my time just, you know, searching for the cat. I hope it's okay, though. Yeah. I was gonna uh, take it to the shelter, you know, a decent shelter, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, someone manages to find the cat in time before like someone's just like going to 20 along the parking lot and just like messes 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 that kid that, that, that cat's day up you know that'll be real awful but um as you can see uh we're almost done we're almost done i mean if you're drawing at home uh you're a pretty badass dude or gal however you uh However you uh, identify yourself, but uh, yeah, you're you're pretty cool. It means you want to get better, and um, I'm glad to know that. But hey, I'm I'm proud of you. Even if you're not watching, that means you're interested in art, or uh, you're just interested in the content, which is also really nice of you. And I appreciate that. But, uh, that means a lot to me because uh, I started like doing YouTube, like personally just you know to build a better life for myself and you know um, see where I fit in because it's just I don't know I never really felt like I fit in anywhere and especially when it comes to school and everything uh, it's like when it comes to computer science I think it's cool but I don't really I'm not too good at it so like uh, and just really unsure about it in some senses it's like i still want to do it but it's like uh at the same time i'm just not really sure about it you know what i mean like um there are some people who have those times where like yes school i understand it i get it but it's just you know you can be the smartest kid and everything but it's just school isn't you know sometimes for everybody and you know i'm not saying i'm it's like I'm definitely, I definitely understand the topics, but it's just like when it comes to me as an individual, it's just I don't really connect with it. I don't really find myself finding a resolve with it, you know? Like, oh, this is like the thing I'll be able to settle down, down to in like later down in life, and that's like that'll be my, you know, one true love. I've uh, even though I draw and everything. I, it's like I never really found that, you know, love. I never found that love with computer science or drawing. It's like, I always had a liking for drawing, but I never really had a love for it. Which is like the sad part about it, because I really enjoy drawing. I really want to get better too. Um, but that takes time, and I'm willing to put in the time. Give me hell. I said, like, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be an animator for a reason. And if, like, just learning, like, more about drawing and becoming better as a person while drawing, is if, if that's what I have to do, I'm, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to try to understand myself. And I feel like that's the best thing when it comes to life. But, um, right now I'm literally just detailing the oranges. And so... There's that, and also, mm, I guess, wait, I guess I can also, you know, do one more just for the hell of it. Why not? Is uh, you guys, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> press my tool, but that's already happened.
<laughs> Besides that, um, you know, my toes okay. Don't, don't, I'm not gonna sweat it, but um, deep breaths. So um, I'm just gonna finish uh, detailing these oranges, and then we'll get to the next thing. watch this video I do hope that maybe you can find some maybe you can relate to me or you know maybe you can find something out of this video hopefully you know like a drawing partner or something I don't know I'm just here to learn as much as you want to learn because um, I feel like that's what's like what's you know to life just learning and everything and being able to have those times where you can have fun and and also work is uh, how I see life is that like uh, I see it as something where we can just keep we can live and it's like you know like a mountain it's like it has its peaks ups and ups and downs and I feel like you know it's like if we're able to succeed within like those like lows and peaks it's like I, f I feel like that's like the meaning of living you know because life is very volatile one day you can be the sweetest kid and then you can just end up in the worst situation like uh like uh hmm hmm like maybe just having having kids too soon maybe I guess or um Killing somebody, of course, and just going to jail about it is uh, that'd be awful. But it's like I mean, unless you want to like have kids, and that's okay. But yeah, killing people aren't isn't isn't so okay. You know that's uh, that's that's pretty fucked. But let's keep drawing. Let's keep drawing. But uh, these orange slices aren't the best. I can do a lot better with them. I wish I could detail a lot better, but it comes with time, and you know, as long as we try, guys, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. You know, I like to watch Me Canyon. It's one of my favorite guys. One of my favorite animators, so uh, his art style is just really out there. It's not creepy, but it's like a, it's something that makes his work, especially his uh, moods that he's, he establishes in his work, really pop out. Because, you know, <laughs> with the extra veins and like all the unsettling features he puts in his characters, as well as like, you know, the big mouths and as well as the big teeths and like. It's especially it's like when it's like contrasted with the small eyes, it gives it a very like unsettling, like weird, like type of vibe. Or like you know, those are like the worst things that you want to see. Like it's, it's, uh, the worst things you'll ever see in a nightmare. Like just think about it. It's like uh, just think about Smile Dog. It's like if you, it's like no one. It's like adult. Like my, uh, I don't know if I don't know if you guys know about Smile Dog, but it's a creepy pasta. I believe it's like I don't know, but. I don't know the full details, but I'll search it up right now. Um, smile, dog, creepy pasta. Okay, so small dog story consists of a classic horror setup. An amateur writer visits the home of a lady who supposedly has a story for which he could borrow from rather than speak. However, the lady has locked herself up in a room crying and ranting about nightmares and visions and various other problems. All these uh, centers, well, all these center around a floppy disk that she has been given that contains the image smile.jpg, uh, which is, you know, smile dog. Uh, 
so I guess it's like I have to keep reading but the gist of it is that you know there's this like guy who uh, who wants to write a story but he visits this lady um, who you know has a story which she what she has but she you know she's crazy she's uh after seeing this jpeg this terrible jpeg of a realistic mouth just plastered on a image of a dog with you know red eyes and you know unsettling unsettling blood stains um it, it drove her mad and so uh hmm it's a uh, It's like this JPEG, you know, Christ, it, it incites insanity, and no copy of the exact image it exists on the web. It's just a normal creepypasta, as a, all classic creepypastas should be. Um, I used to watch creepypastas a lot when I was a kid. I used to love those things, but uh, I would always try to, like, especially as a kid, especially at night, I will always get so unsettled just because like I was so interested in the horror aspect of it but I was uh I was always scared just because of the fact that you know it's a, it's a creepypasta it's supposed to scare you while trying it's like uh <laughs> and it did scare me I remember the one thing the one thing that used to make me piss my pants when I was a kid was a tail stall so a uh, tail stall was this doll which um, also, you know, <coughs> which like uh, could be found in Sonic R. So Sonic R was a recent game, you know, made by Sega in the 90s. It was on the Sega, Sega Genesis, wait, Sonic R. It was a, it was a, hey, what's up, Ty? What you doing, bro? I'm making a video. Making a video? Huh? What kind of? Like a drawing video, that's all. You know what you should do? You guys are, you know, you guys are real pricks. I, I'm, I'm making a video right now. Yeah, we're supposed to know that. Are you feeling? Hmm? Yeah. Man, fuck that video. You can put this on YouTube. Like, YouTube's like, ah, this is so funny. Oh my god. Yeah, you should put hot sauce and the cane sauce and the video. Hot sauce? Yeah. yeah. Right. Try it. Try it. Try it, bro. Yeah, yeah, you ever okay. tried it before? Uh-oh. -uh. But, um... Yeah, that's my brother and my oh. roommates, but, uh... They're pretty good people, though. But, <laughs> um... Yeah, the Sonic R was made on... What's it called? It was made, Christ. Yeah, the Sega Saturn, there we go. And so, it also had these, you know, hidden characters, like, you know, oh, it was, it was, uh, Metal Knuckles, Tails, no, it was Metal Sonic, Tails, Metal Knuckles, um, and there was that egg robo. There was I believe and supersonic, yeah. Supersonic was one of the hidden, hidden characters, but you know, uh Tails all had like a you know following because well it had this like so so called curse which like um if you play Sonic, uh if you play uh Can You Feel the Sunshine and reverse around twelve AM or three AM in the morning, Tails all will come and kill you. So it scared me. I'm sorry, but this is like my drawing of oranges, and I feel, you know that's pretty decent enough for you. But like I promise, let's uh, let's draw one more weird fruit, uh, one exotic, interesting, different fruit. Anyway, um, let's see, let's see, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we got here. So also, uh, hmm. You know what, Dad? I'm gonna draw this plant. Um, not plant, but fruit that has a child's face on it. Ain't that the sweetest thing? Ain't that something you want to eat? A, a literal child. Anyway, um, 
Let's see, let's let's draw in here. Draw it. Oh, ain't that a why don't you want to eat a fresh baby coming from a tree? Ain't that the most savory thing um, you ever want to eat? You know? It's crazy how uh, plants sometimes evolve because you know sometimes things in nature like this actually happen and uh, that's the most interesting thing about it gosh i hope i i'm, I'm most likely going at this wrong way oh geez there goes my pencil but um there we go okay gosh i, I hate the hate that i'm going so hard on, on a way but let's see here Let's see here. There we go. I hate it. I hate it though. I hate it here. But um, there goes our child. The child's eyes and they're pretty massive. But um, I think next video, or next video, or a few next videos, I'm gonna start practicing on noses and as well as like drawing actual humans. I always wanted to do that. I mean I have but it's like I'm just not as consistent as I should be but um yeah I just want this channel honestly to be about a community which just draws things and just practices all together you know I feel like I'll be cool he's all meant I don't really have education on drawing so that's why I kind of like draw the way I do and everything I feel like if I, you know, just sit down and practice some more and everything, um, I'll, get, I'll definitely get a lot better. But you know, this ain't looking so bad. Look at that. There goes our, our baby, her, her fruit baby. And he, and he delicious. Yeah, ain't he delicious, though? Why don't you want a scrumptious baby to eat? Just imagine that scrumptious fruit baby. Ain't that the most savory thing uh, God ever you know, bestowed on earth? But, you know, uh, as long as, uh, you know, there's consent in eating this fruit baby, I'm pretty sure uh, the tree won't be too mad. Before we're done, let's fix, let's fix these eyes. Let's fix these eyes. There you go, fruit baby. You're gonna be a nice looking baby. Fruit baby. Fucking me time. Hey, where she gonna steal that shit? Baka Mita Do 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 Gonna drink this, like uh, coming back to school, making a YouTube channel, just in our own drawing. Ain't that, ain't that fabulous? It's a, uh, it's all coming together. I hope uh, the, the content will be able to reach the seas and other places in the world, just because. People are interested in drawing and learning and even taking some time out of their day just to draw, you know. Excuse me, I doubt, you know, someone watches video throughout the whole, you know, thing, but, you know, duration, but, you know, hell, I, I don't, I, that doesn't even matter. As long as you're able to take something from this video, I, I, I feel like I've done something at the end of the day. I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like that's what I want to do. Just make a contribution. And just like having fame or glory. 
Uh, if I was like, if I was able to make, you know, music and everything, I, I just want to, I wouldn't even want to have like uh, concerts or anything like that. Just like, uh, I'd just rather have live streams of making music and, you know, helping others. I feel like that would be nice. I'm just always trying to have a concert. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I feel like I'll just just drop dead on, on stage, but that's just me, I guess. But I hope uh, you enjoyed this fruit baby. Yeah, little fruit baby. There we go. We came together. Yeah, it's not too bad looking. I just wish that I, I uh, I just wish she looked a lot closer to the picture. But um I hope you enjoyed this video and you know you have a good rest of your night. As you can tell, uh it's uh it's about um let's see here. Let's see here. Well let's get a closer look on um, you know, the pictures. But uh, here's our fruit baby. Yeah, don't you see that fruit baby? It's a nice looking baby. And then uh, you got your orange orange slices, which uh it's pretty cool. And draw a bowl, but hey, man, um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably eat them anyway without a bowl. But as you can see, it's uh, it's about 7:35, so uh, you know, you guys stay cool and you have a good day. Peace.